president. I'm the veteran navigator here at Gonzaga. I work through Washington Department of Veterans Affairs, and I've worked here since last semester. I'm in a AmeriCorps position, so I'm here until June. And then um, Bennett is here. Go ahead. I am Bennett Mello, and um, I am a work study. And um, I am a work study approved for this school year. I'm actually a graduate student. Um, and that's how I got the position. <laughs> and so. Uh, there's also Michaela Johnson who works here too, and she works primarily with transfer students. So this is the Transfer Veterans and Returning Adults Service Office. And so we're primarily working with veteran students, and she primarily works with transfers. Um, the big thing with our office is we provide resources to those students. Uh, we provide services, events, um, kind of help them through their journey here through higher education and with us in particular we help out our veteran students and we help navigate them hence I'm a veteran navigator we help navigate them through their journey whether that be um, getting registered for classes um, getting help with uh, medical benefits outside resources for them whether that be housing or um, finding jobs um, getting in contact with uh, other local employers um, and that's primarily what we do and then we hold a lot of veteran specific events so that they feel welcomed here on campus and so because they are different than traditional students so um, let's see here last week oh free food yeah we have luncheons probably once a month uh, breakfast once a month um, we do veteran specific events like and we team up with the transfer students too with that too so we have a bigger population but we'll do um, we'll go out for like the baseball games we'll go out for like bowling movies restaurants we'll go have dinner um, and then we'll do like a volunteer event and then we do um, like workshops whether that be um, finding jobs uh, working on your cover letter um, we have speakers come in from the uh, community who work with veterans specifically and they come in and give a spiel about what they do and how they can help. Um, we do trainings. We uh, had a peer mentor training about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, where we had the Washington Department of Veterans Affairs come out and actually train members here at the university to be a peer mentor in the community. Um, so the list of events kind of evolves every year, but it's, it's we have something pretty much once a week, I feel like, for, for veterans and for transfer students as well. Yeah. What qualifies you, Katie, to oh. perform in this position? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, um... Share your story. My story. Yes. Well, I took the position, A, because it's a volunteer service. Volunteer services look great on your resume. I'm a veteran myself, so oh, yeah. I, served in, I served in the Navy for, for some years. And uh, I'm a spouse as well to right. my, my husband's in the military, and so I kind of have that. I, I, I uh, in the veteran side and the spouse side, mm -hmm. so I can kind of connect with those who are either spouses and dependents of veterans or veterans themselves. So, okay. and what about you, Vanette? You go ahead and me? tell me about yourself. Ah, oh, well, I am a retired Marine, 20 years in the IT field, and um, yeah, I also volunteered for this position just to get some face-to-face -face time with other veterans. It's um, hard connecting as a graduate student with other vet veterans because um, there's not so many in the grad program, so being in the office, I get to meet undergraduate veterans, I get to meet spouses, even dependents who may be using, um, a veterans um, educational benefits so I like that I like that I can um, give back to my community by serving other veterans and I'm also a veterans uh, spouse my husband is retired Marine so um, it's just our way of giving back and we're also here to help out the transfer students too yeah <laughs> we're not oh, just, yes. but that's we our other counterpart well. she's mm -hmm. not here right now 